Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I recently came across a fascinating article that talked about some of the simple daily habits of the Japanese in terms of their home habits, cleaning habits, health habits that I just found so interesting and informative and I started adopting some of them myself. So I wanted to share with you all because I think there is so much we can learn from looking at other cultures. Let me know what country you're watching this from right now. What else do you wanna see in this series moving forward and make sure you are subscribed so you can catch those videos in the future. So first we're gonna talk about the habit of removing your shoes. In Japan, it is customary to remove your shoes when entering a building, specifically the home. That is not something that people have to ask. It is just known and expected. And this is not just due to the fact that our shoes harbor so much bacteria, over 400,000 different types of bacteria, on our shoes, but also just for the general cleanliness of the home and to keep the floors cleaner. When entering the household, your outside shoes are removed and they're placed nicely by the door. And the emphasis here is nicely, not just thrown there and looking cluttered. They're arranged neatly. And then you put on your house slippers. And from what I read, it is also common, some households have different slippers that they use for different areas or rooms of the house, specifically the bathroom. So that is to further reduce cross-contamination around the house. And then guests in the home are provided with disposable slippers. Typically they are disposable. So after they are used around the house, they are discarded. So we do remove our shoes in the household, but we don't always ask guests to do that. And most of the time they don't. So I love the idea of having the disposable slippers right there at the door and it kind of cues your guests. Next habit is clean your toilet daily. Here in the US, I think the bigger, more common habit is make your bed. In Japan, it's clean your toilet. Cleaning your toilet is considered good luck and can bring wealth and money into the household and it helps also clean and clear the mind. There's also this idea that cleaning your toilet is the ultimate act in humility. It keeps you humble. So the specific routine here is to clean your toilet every morning, first thing in the morning, and that's going to start your day, your mindset, clean and fresh as well. And hey, look, I'm gonna try this because if it can bring me some good luck, I'm all about it because I need all the good luck I could get. A few other common daily cleaning habits in Japan. First is just this idea of having less clutter in general, more simple spaces, less visual clutter in the kitchen and bathroom, countertops, doing a smaller load of laundry every day, every other day versus larger loads. I started adopting this the past couple of weeks and I will say it has helped me stay on top of my laundry. It's just a lot less overwhelming to do a smaller amount every day, every other day, and it just keeps you easily on top of things. And then in terms of putting your laundry away, it is more common in Japan to roll your clothing instead of folding them and then you roll and stack them in your drawers. You can see what you have and more stuff is able to fit. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the KonMari method. She comes from Japan and something she talks about is everything in your home, having a place, having a dedicated home. So one thing I did is I transferred all of my bulk supplies, baking supplies into these pretty glass jars. These are actually from my brand. This is a new release of ours. I will have a coupon code for you guys down below. These have the pretty bamboo and acacia lids. They come with the spoons and labels. I also want to talk some health habits over in Japan because the Japanese have the longest lifespan on earth. The average life expectancy in Japan is 85.7 years. So this could be its own separate video. There's a lot to unpack here, but the three biggest factors that I kept seeing come up again and again is a diet rich in seaweed. Seaweed is naturally rich in iodine and a ton of other minerals like calcium, iron, and magnesium. You can even get those little seaweed snacks. And even if you don't think you like them, they sometimes have the flavored ones. Like I like the teriyaki one. My kids even will eat these now. So think about eating more seaweed. Next, they tend to eat a lot more seafood and fish over in Japan. So that is rich in omega-3 fatty acids. They are on average eating 68 pounds of fish per person per year. Over here in the US, it's 16 pounds. So we are eating a lot less 
fish. So think about incorporating more fish in your diet. And then last, green tea, matcha, regular green tea. It is so rich in antioxidants, can help reduce inflammation, lower cholesterol, and improve brain function. So I've been adding in like a mid-morning green tea. In terms of personal hygiene, it is common when you enter the household that people wash their hands and many even will also gargle when they come in. And then typically showering and bathing is done in the evenings. And the idea is to wash away the day and the dirt and the grime from the day. First, they'll rinse off and then we'll take a bath. It is very common in Japan for people to take nightly hot baths. And it's not just a special occasion thing you do to pamper yourself. It's a nightly routine. Next habit is early to bed, early to rise. So I saw that it is most common to wake up between 4 to 6 a.m. and to wake up with the sun wherever you can. A lot of people will go outside and try to get that early morning, first morning sunlight, which is just, there's so many different health benefits for doing that. Also, there is a morning stretch routine, exercise routine, that reportedly over 10 million Japanese people do every single day. It's a three minute exercise, and I will try and demonstrate this. I'm gonna try it out and see how I feel. Next Japanese habit is to improve your posture. There is an emphasis on standing tall, walking tall, and just having your shoulder back, improving your posture, not just for overall well-being and projecting confidence, but they say that it also helps with mental clarity. Think about your posture. How are you sitting right now? Are you hunched over your phone? Are you hunched over a desk? Next is beyond just a habit. It's this cultural idea of community reverence and having respect for not just your private spaces, but public spaces and keeping them clean. This is a huge part of Japanese culture from what I read at a very young age, starting in elementary school, children are taught to clean their classrooms during the day. There's cleaning time. It is expected and established that you help clean public spaces as well as your private spaces for the betterment of the community. And so a few different things that we can think about doing in our daily lives is like if you're eating out at a restaurant, you can take the initiative and stack up your plates and start to clean up. Also in Japan, if people are feeling sick, they will take the initiative and they will wear a mask to help prevent cross-contaminating their sickness onto others. There's actually a viral video at the end of a World Cup match that showed the Japanese fans going through the aisles and picking up the trash. And they are helping to make the lives easier of the janitors, the cleaning crew of the stadium. And I just love this. It warmed my heart. And I think if each of us individually just makes a little bit more of an effort, it could really have a huge impact. So think about that the next time you're out in a public space. And the last and my favorite daily habit is this idea of practicing gratitude for the big and small things. It is very common before eating to say thank you for everyone involved in making this meal and being grateful for each ingredient and giving thanks for the little things in your life and focusing on what you do have and what you're grateful for versus what you don't have. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe before you go so you can see future videos like this. Also, I recommend you watching this video next. These are my current daily clean home habits in 2023 to give you some more ideas and inspiration. And let me know what country idea should I explore next in the series if you do enjoy it. Leave your ideas down in the comments. And with all of that said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.